common are they? Do we need to be worried or is it something that's just there? It happens. It happens. So the most common infection is chlamydia. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. chlamydia, it. yeah, <laughs> it, happens, it happens. I haven't had that one yet. I need to take it off my list. It's like catching a cold. <laughs> <laughs> right, so chlamydia is chlamydia is the most common STI. Mm -hmm. It makes up about 49% of all infections diagnosed in the country. Mm -hmm. So it's the most common infection. Um, it's also one of the most easiest to pass on. So it's a bacterial mm -hmm. infection and it's a localised infection, meaning that you can catch it anywhere where you have sex. So yes. you can catch it in your vagina, you can catch it rectally and you can catch it in your throat. Because yeah. a lot of people think you have to actually have the uh, penetration to get an STI. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people think, oh, I don't want to get an STI, so I'm just going to do oral. Yeah. And most people typically don't use protection for oral sex. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you if you give oral sex to somebody with a penis, so whether you're male or female, if your sexual partner has a penis and you give them oral sex, the best way to protect yourself from an STI is to wear a condom. Wear a condom using during oral. During oral. I know yeah. most people don't, and, and that's that's up to you know each individual to make that dis decision for themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I if you do want to prevent chlamydia and gonorrhea in your throat, then condoms are the best way to do that. Yeah, I think probably because people don't think that they can catch anything that way. Yeah. They're like, oh, why would I need to use a condom during oral? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and At I least there's flavoured condoms these days. That's Ooh, exactly yeah. what I was going to say. So if, <laughs> if you don't like the taste of maybe condoms, which shouldn't have like a distinct taste anyway, mm -hmm. most condoms, but um, if, if, if that's a, a thing, then you can yeah use flavoured condoms and yeah, there's all those sort of options. Are there any other STIs that you can get in, in your throat? throat? Uh, no, so mainly just chlamydia and gonorrhea. There are other sort of infections that you can get in your mouth area, things like you know, herpes, which is mm -hmm. part, you know, the HSV virus yeah. um, that causes the cold sore. So it's a type of sexually transmitted, but it's a little bit different in that you can catch it in other several ways that's not exclusively through sex. Oh, yeah. 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 My yeah. grandmother gave me herpes on oh. my neck when I was nine years old. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Gma. Thank that's you. <laughs> Parting gift. Oh, no. It's literally a parting oh. gift. I remember her every time. Oh, <laughs> That's why I always tell people, never kiss newborn babies. Like, because yeah. you never know if you have the HSV virus and that you, you could that. potentially have a small cold sore that you've never even noticed. And that's why I always tell people, don't kiss babies. Like, don't do it. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about PrEP before. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and PrEP is great. It's great for people who are considered high risk for HIV because, mm. like, like I said, it's um, seen a massive reduction in HIV diagnosis. But because of that, what we're seeing is people are taking more risks, especially within the LGBTQ oh. community, because now it's like, oh, okay, well, we've kind of covered HIV, we can take this drug and stop us from becoming HIV positive. But mm. with that, other STIs have gone up in, 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 in tenfold. Mm. So we're seeing a lot more gonorrhea, we're seeing a lot more syphilis, and what oh. we're seeing as well is, and this is generally speaking, um, antibiotics are very clever things. We've been obviously using them for a very long time, but antibiotics are not as strong as they used to be. Yeah. And so now more than ever, we need to make people aware about STIs because what we don't want to do is just bombard people with antibiotics and then they get they become resistant later on in life. So the antibiotics yeah. don't work? They yeah. don't work as well as they used to. So uh -huh, okay. with chlamydia, we've changed the treatment slightly. With gonorrhea, we've changed the treatment slightly. So we're constantly oh. looking for new ways That's of amazing. treating them because of this resistance. Medicine's always changing and getting better yeah. and growing. So, exactly. you know, whatever they throw at us, we'll throw it right back. That's right. <laughs>